So from seeing how the natural exponential function uh, arises from um, increasing the uh, number of times compounded, this uh, leads us to this continuously compounded interest formula. And this is where if we are gaining interest at every moment on the interest that we just earned, this is the formula that we use. Okay, P -E, uh, sorry, A of T is the amount that we have after time T amount after time t. Uh, p is still the principal or the initial amount. R is the interest rate. And t is, of course, time. Okay. And uh, so that simplifies the, the compounded interest formula quite a bit for us um, because if it's continuous, then we don't have this n to deal with.